Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Pretty much. <laughs> That's favor. She's on it, bro. She's on it. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah, she sounds like she sounds nice. Yeah, if things were different, maybe, but I don't know. Uh, but if they, yeah, it might be a good friendship. You never know. I was pretty wary of her because she's super cunt. Super country, you said? Super what? I didn't hear you. I don't hear oh. you at all. Can you hear me now? Yeah. Super what? Say it again. Hold on. Every time you say something, it cuts out. Oh, she's super country. Oh. What's wrong with country? Nothing. I'm just saying. She's funny that way. And she's, yeah, she's super. She's Why did that make you wary? Oh, I'm wary of her because of some of the stories that she told me. Like, she got held up at gunpoint. Oh, uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She used like, to run with some serious drug dealers. Like, what the fuck fucking... you doing? <laughs> Yeah, well, she's she runs with some fucking thugs. Like she's not afraid. Somebody just got shot. <clears throat> Somebody last Saturday, um, no, a week ago Saturday. So yeah, it's almost been like a week and a half ago. Somebody was murdered uh, at the end of her block. <laughs> Cause she lives. She doesn't live that far from. Me. Uh huh. You're cutting out again. Yeah, knowing can hear you. Are you still there? Like this. I was about to say, I can't hear you no more. Oh man, it's on push to talk. Let me see if I can change this. Let me... it's, pro it's probably from when you got on the phone. Because every if I get a phone call while I'm on Discord, it does some fucking crazy fucking shit. Like I have to go out and come back in, reset it and everything. It's whack. Fucking whack! Yeah. 
Yeah. Oh, that's better. Yeah, you're absolutely right. It fucked the settings all up. When you take a call, when you take a call while you're in Discord, it does that. I don't know why. It yeah, fucking yeah, it uses the phone. Yep. Yeah. No. Um. What was I saying? She's a. No, she. It's cool. Is that her literal, literal, actual name, Favor, or is that just what she goes by? Nope. That's her. That's her God-given name. And her her daughter's name is Fern. Fern. Oh well, Fern's not that not as unusual as Favor. Yeah, I guess you're right. It's funny too, cause she'll like when they're uh, ordering some food, she's like, "Favor, you know, like do me a favor," and it's spelled just like that, F A V O R. Really? Favor. Or, yeah. I think that shit's hilarious. I'm like, damn, your parents must be fucking hippie. She goes, yeah, you know. She's got some interesting stories, bro. Like, there's some fucked up shit going on in her family. <laughs> like, you know. People commit suicide, fucking murder. There's some fucking yeah. It's like I like I said, like I like her, but there's just a whole heap of drama that surrounds her. That's how that's how Carmen is, cause I she just did some yeah. shit yesterday <laughs> talking about I I love how people think I gotta make a fake Facebook to talk shit or something. I was like, damn, you always is some fucking drama. <laughs> yeah, and I'm like, oh, I don't, like damn, yeah. bitch, like. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, dude. I just don't. But yeah, she's not like that kind of drama. But she is like, um, there's. I mean, I think she was. You know, now she's 37. She's calmed down. She's got a kid. You know, things are more calm. But she's funny. I don't know. Yeah, no, it's not like that. She got her man down in in Salem. How far is that? Oh yeah, that's about an hour away. But that's what she's worried about. She thinks that she's that he's gonna, he's older. He's like three years older than I am. She keeps talking about how he, uh, she's his little trophy girl. I was gonna say, girl. I was gonna say he ain't going nowhere. <laughs> not no, if, he, well, he, not if she's yeah, thirty six or whatever. Damn. He tried to split up with her a couple times. Well, apparently he's fucking, you know, hung like a mule, so he's fighting him off. You know, and I'm like, bitch, I don't want to hear that shit. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> that shit. Like, she's that type of bitch that I'm just out with that. And you're just like, dude, don't fucking, I don't give a fuck. You know, she's telling about how, like, he fucking bruised her pussy and shit. And I'm just like, dude, don't tell me that shit. I don't want to know about that shit. I get your girlfriend. <laughs> like, <laughs> you know bitch, I mean? anybody can bruise your pussy if they fuck you hard enough. Shut the fuck up. Yeah. I'll bruise yeah, your fucking mouth. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want anything to do with it. I'll bust your lip. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, you know what I'm saying? Like too much TMI. But I think she's kind of, you know, she needs a friend. And it's not that I don't need a friend. So I'm just like, well, you know, because my natural instinct is to push her away and stay away. But I'm trying to be more sociable and she's safe because i don't give a fuck what she thinks about me you know what i mean right. it's like i pushed all my friends away because i'm so self-conscious about the mistakes that i've made and that's a lot that that's a, it's a it's a very common character char characteristic of uh clinical depression i mean it's 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 textbook the, the shit that i do the isolation you know um, yeah it's very textbook it's like everything that i read about depression is like oh well I mean, I understand all that stuff that why I do it, but it doesn't keep me from doing it again, and it doesn't help. And it, it, you know, it's like I know I ruminate about past mistakes. I know I need to move on. I know that um, isolation is not good for me. Um, I know that I've got a lot to offer the world, but when I'm in a depressed state, I don't. I just want to die, dude. I don't want to fucking, dude. I don't want to deal with it. That's. I know that's why I game because it's a, it's a, you know, it's. The next best thing to going out and getting a drink, you know, and and now I don't even don't even have the weed to fall back on because I want to stay clean so I can get a job. So it's just I'm really kind of struggling with it, and I don't and I'm not on any antidepressants because I don't have health insurance. So anyway, yeah, I and see, I almost feel like I almost feel like Carmen was a little bit upset because I don't really fuck with, fuck with a blow like that anymore. <laughs> that's when <laughs> that's we you old. that's when we were hanging out was. When I was doing fucking very well, that's when I fucked her when I, when I was doing blow. 
Oh, look at look at. Okay, go watch watch Glad. I'm watching him. See what they're doing? This uh -huh. is it. This is here. This is the time lock valve. So this is the thing. Oh, okay. So they got a new one. Ooh, hold on. I gotta turn this up. This is what I've been. Okay, I'm gonna go back to Datto because Datto's got this spreadsheet or this like fucking. It's not a spreadsheet. It's I can a, see uh, Datto right now. He's jumping through the shit. He's not even where where Glad is yet. He's jumping he through that. Glad's always the fastest. <laughs> it's like, it, yeah, it always happens. It's like, I wish I kind of had. I was kind of wish I was on the computer. Is that so Glad's always behind? Or I mean, fucking Datto's no. always behind. Behind Glad. Glad's yeah. always the first one to do all that shit. Glad's just so fucking... I mean, Datto's, like, really good, like, cerebrally. He's, like, probably the best mental Destiny player. Glad might be the best, like, with the mouse and keyboard. Just, like... I mean, he's so fucking good. It, the shit that he can do... You know, he's the guy that does fucking one-person raids and shit. <laughs> like, him and... Like, and they two-man... Look at, look at Sweatsicle. He's got paperwork out. Look at Sweat Sickle. <laughs> no, dude, watch. Okay, so this is what I want you to see is as soon as Dado gets through, you got to watch and see what he does. What he's is he bringing out? Through. He's got a pen. He's got a pen and paper. Yeah. Well, dude, they're trying to solve this puzzle. This is really fucking cool. This is like Destiny lore. This is this is like the Whisper Quest. I hope that they figure this out and it becomes a jumping puzzle. That's what I really want is a new jumping but puzzle. But you hate you jumping puzzles. <laughs> no, I don't. I like jumping puzzles. I, man, I got through that, the um, the one that we just did. I got through that pretty quick. I mean, it, I I get really I get anxiety about it when I'm around a bunch of people. But if I can do it by myself, I love them. I'm gonna be honest with you. I, I made it. Th I made it through that jumping puzzle quicker than I did with a controller. Yeah, fuck, I believe it. Yeah, you. Yeah, you're probably just as good or better with the mouse keyboard. I'm I'm getting not yeah, I'm not no I'm not better I'm not better I know I'm not better I'm getting there though I'm fucking getting there. It's good. I'm too afraid to try it. Too afraid of the I'm not too afraid and let me rephrase that or let me frame that question. I'm too afraid of like being bad at it. What it would do in this terrible mental state that I'm in. It's like if I'm gonna get it, you know, I'd like to get back in a good mental state, then I'm sure that I would be much more apt to, to learning it. But I'm also, you know, definitely getting older. There's, there is, you know, as you age, you'll find out. You'll find out in 20 years. You'll be I've like, been oh, playing, but I've I been playing with a keyboard though for, I mean, not fast-paced games like this, but I've been playing with a keyboard for a long time. Yeah. I you know what I mean? Since I was in fourth grade, I've been playing Diablo. Yeah. Not me. I haven't really. The only thing I ever played. Oh, here it is. Okay, so watch Dado stream. This is the shit. I'm watching all of them. See, they got this. Yeah, but specifically, if you would look at Dado's, because he's doing it right now. So he'll crop these pictures. So when you go through, then they find out the thing to the because it's seven rooms that you have to go into in succession. And then if you go through them correctly, then you end up at this time vault. And that time vault will then uh, um, give you this other piece of the puzzle, which is cropping right now in that art. What, what application is that? In Datto? I don't know. Yeah, Datto. I don't know what application that, that is. That is Photoshop. Oh, okay. Yeah, Photoshop. Yeah. So look, this is the, so this is the puzzle. Should be. It, it should is. be Photoshop. It is. Yeah, it is Photoshop. Yeah, PS Photoshop. Yep, yeah, it's Photoshop for sure. That shit costs money. It's like twenty bucks a month. Yeah. But it it it's really like. Have you ever used Photoshop? Um, oh, a, a while ago. Like you, you know, It's years. fucking. It's heavy duty, bro. It's heavy duty. Yeah, I've used um, I've used Adobe for business. For, uh, Reason. Especially that that tool that they have, the the magic wand shit, where you can just go around shit. It basically does the edges for everything. Like that's how people do the real Photoshop and shit. Yeah. Um, yeah. No, I I used it mainly for 
applications before is uh, for uh, uh, um, a talker for like if somebody sends a contract this is how we used to use fax for you know at, in between faxing and um uh now i can't remember the name of the program that that i've used in business um there's a program that you use it's uh like you fax somebody via the web and it's uh it, it keeps the document in a pdf format that's locked down because that's why you can't like scan, you just can't scan it and send it via word because those can be manipulated that has to be in a lockdown format or a pdf format which is what adobe uses um, and so i've used it in a business setting but it was nothing like this i mean it was you know getting documents making sure that they're signed the correct way equifax no that's not the program that's the fucking that's that's for your credit, credit. yeah that's the credit. This bitch right here. I'm gonna Back fuck similar. somebody up. Man, I wish I could I wish I could show you. I guess I could. My fucking Pokemon card collection. It's, cr it's crazy. Uh, DocuSign. That's the fucking... That's what I was thinking. DocuSign. So, yeah, I used to use Adobe Photoshop before DocuSign. I never and, heard... I never heard of DocuSign. I heard so about... DocuSign is a legal... Like, it, that's how I bought my house. <laughs> I did a virtual signing via DocuSign. And then when I was selling contracts uh when i was selling you know anything but the most recent one when i was selling those contracts for those uh radiologists and the cardiologists i would have the hospital um, i've heard of a lot of those daggone shit like that docusign yeah. and yeah it's just a way that you can electronically sign a document and it becomes legally binding because they have encryption in there so they can't be altered so like you can send documents to somebody but you can't like i mean it's stupid you can't send it as like an email attachment or a word document or even a pdf in, in today's day and age you, you used to you used to be able to get away with that but now people can alter those documents so you have to have a third party where it's safe and it's saved in the cloud and so that's why we used to use docu anyway oh okay so look what they're doing you see that hexagon i'm watching that yeah, yeah. So that's the map that they're figuring out right now. And they're trying to figure out what the path is. Interesting. Yeah, it's fucking fascinating, dude. It's like, this is the fucking... This is when Destiny's at its best, I think. Is when they have these kinds of things. So you like, you can go in, you can start the quest. Like, if you went into Destiny and you went and talked to Osiris, you can start the quest. And you can you can start getting these. See, they've gotten, I guess, twelve of them now. He's got them all labeled and shit. But yeah, if you go through, there's seven rooms you have to go through, and then you'll get one of these. And they've done it. And so Bungie is releasing one of these codes every hour. So this has been going on for the last twelve hours. They're probably <laughs> now nah, they're they're just like send this to Datto, send this to Datto, send this to Datto. No, every no, hour. No, no, doing it. Everybody's doing it. No, I know. You and I can go because I've gotten fuck. I did it for a little while. I got like four of them. I mean, you just go every hour. You go to an obelisk, any one, Mars, Nessus, and the code will change on the hour. My like, code is there right now. Wrecked. The one. This is bullshit. So they're trying to find the map. They're, they're trying to find the correct sequence of doors to go in and uh i think we think it's going to be an exotic sword i think it's going to be like um what was the solar exotic um damn the young wolf shit or you're talking about the oh, uh the raised lighter the raised lighter 
raised lighter. Yeah, I think it's going to be raised lighter. I think we're getting raised lighter because um, it's a, there's a on top of the box in the room. It's got a picture of a sword, and because um, everybody's talking shit, like they think that it might be the Galahorn, but I don't think it'll be the Galahorn. And then other people are guessing that it's going to be Dragon Breath because for some reason people have done some. Uh, you know how they get into the back end of money. data mining. That's what it is. They've data mined that they thought that they saw like a rocket launcher scope, but hey, Google, turn the, the living room light off. So you see those little yellow things that he's got, like on. Uh, I'm taking a piss. In, hold on. Oh, okay. Oh, no problem. There's 19 of them. I've been drinking liquor because I need a nightcap. I ain't been sleeping good. Anyway, that's about the gist of it. It's just, uh... Yeah, it's been cool to watch these guys do this shit live. It's like, fuck, this is how they figure this shit out. I mean, I don't know how they figured out that these puzzle pieces match together because the ends have to if you look at it closely you'd have to be watching this did anybody ever figure out that last shit the black armory fucking puzzle yeah yeah, yeah they were talking about it yeah glad and um everybody figured it out bungie fucked up really yeah they gave the wrong information and that's why it couldn't be solved for, for like five days they would have had it solved that day glad would have had it solved that day but uh, Bungie, yeah, that, um, that came out like the week after they solved it. Niobe yeah. Labs, yeah, figured it. And um, Glad and his group are the ones that figured out the um, catalyst. And well, not the catalyst, but you know how you can get a, sh a special ship through the doing the um, zero hour quest. Yeah. Um, the only way to get that ship is by doing that little code. Well, Glad and them. Um, they didn't even, they figured out most of it, but they fucking uh, strong-armed it. That's not the right word. Oh, brute forced. Yeah, they brute forced it. And so that's what they wanted to do here. They had a spreadsheet earlier this afternoon where they were doing a bunch of fucking different, com they had about eight people running different combinations of stuff. They didn't show the spreadsheet, but, um, you know, all of them were talking. They're like, okay, it's not that one. It's not that one. And then they figured out that they couldn't brute force it. And I think Bungie wrote this quest so that people couldn't just brute force it you know just go in and choose like seven different things because they're guessing that it's going to be a combination of seven just like when you go to the obelisk it'll give you seven um icons and you go to each one of those doors in succession and that's how you find these codes but i think it's going to be a longer map i don't know it's really fucking cool dude it's like this is when bungee this is when Destiny, I think, is fucking cool as shit. I would, I'm hoping that it leads, like I said, I hope it leads to a jumping puzzle, but I don't think it will. It'll probably just be this thing and everybody will get it. But this is not on the roadmap. This is secret. This is like Whisper in Zero Hour. You know how they just dropped those quests? They weren't their secrets? This is, this is the next, next rendition of Whisper or Zero Hour. That's what are I those think. guitars over in the corner? Is that Guitar yeah. Hero? Yeah. He's got Final Fantasy there. Yeah. L little banner. You know that he cosplays women? What? Datto is a female cosplayer. As in, like, um, he did a female. I don't see. I don't really know the Final Fantasy characters, but he did a Final Fantasy character, and uh, he's doing um, Mara Sov, uh for Pax South, or no, Pax West. He's mm -hmm. gonna be Mara Sov. <laughs> which is gonna be. I can't wait to see it. What a weirdo! 
I know, right? I love it. It's like, yeah. Because he, he's like, he's like, look, I'm not this manly guy. I'm really fucking skinny. He goes, I'm not gay. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but this is just something. He's been into it for like 10 years. And he's really fucking good. He has like this whole, you can watch YouTubes on it. Um, yeah, he's got like these fake tits. and But he's got that girlfriend, you know. She comes on stream every now and again. She's not that hot. Nah, but... For an introvert like him. <laughs> yeah, I like how you label him an introvert. He is. He is self self proclaimed introvert. Like he says, man, if it wasn't for gaming, he wouldn't ever leave the house. He probably doesn't leave the house. But he, he probably don't. I was just gonna say, yeah, he probably doesn't Dude, leave the house. But I'm pretty sure fucking... I'm pretty sure I'm fucking introvert. I don't like uh, fucking people I... at all. Yeah, but you're not afraid to talk to people. Some people are really shy. They get into public and they just won't talk. You know. I, well, see, if, if I'm not at work, though, that's how I am. I'm, I don't fucking talk to people. Yeah. I keep to myself. I don't, either, but I don't. I don't have a. I don't have a problem with it, though. I mean, I could go into a room and talk to people. Worried about it. Well, I don't know. Since my, you know, the depression has ramped up so much within the last four or five years, it kind of changed who I am. I mean, sometimes some it depends on how much I've had to drink. Well, yeah, when I was that's a good point. Yeah, I used to be very. I used to think that I was very extroverted, but I also would be tuned up. I could, I could, I could talk to anybody right now because I'm drinking. But if I wasn't drinking, fucking, I don't know that I could do it. I'd be like, what are you? I'm just gonna keep to myself. You're fucking stupid. Yeah, as I've. You know, when I stopped drinking fucking eight and a half years ago, I've really become much more introverted. I feel like I've been that like that a lot, though. Like, I'm a Scorpio anyways. I don't know how... What is that? I don't know how... I, well, I mean, I don't know how much you believe in that shit, but... Like, Scorpios are very, like, they keep to themselves, and... Very closed <laughs> off and shit like that. In a shell. Oh, yeah. Basically an exoskeleton. Like a shell. Uh, see, I'm a fucking Aries. <laughs> my, God, grandfather, Lord, my grandfather's an Aries. Yeah. Type A personality. But I don't feel like I'm that way. I was definitely that way in my 20s. And into my mid-30s too. Well... Nah, fucking 2008 kind of broke me, dude, when I fucking lost everything. And then I fucking kind of got bit back, and then I got that fucking DUI. But, but I've been, it changed a lot. the thing about it is, is, you know, like, astrology, if you think about astrology, okay, humans are like, what, 75, 85% water? And think about oh, how, 90, you know, 95. think... 90, okay, so 95% water, and think about how the tide is controlled by the by the moon. You get what I'm saying? So, why the fuck are, like, horoscopes not accurate? They're not necessarily moon-related. They're much more on the constellation. Well, constellations, but it has to do with where shit's in place. Like, you could be... If you get really, really, really into oh, I it, believe, like I believe that um, the moon has effects on our bodies for sure. Like, because I know the full you, moon and you, and you, know, you could no be moon. like, yeah, you could be like Scorpio. You could be like Scorpio fifth house, or you could be like Aries thirteenth house or twelfth house. You know what I mean? And it's something totally different. Fourteenth house, <laughs> but I. It's just that's where, uh, the, that's where the 414 comes from, my man. <laughs> but just I don't know. If we're if we're 95 percent water and and the tide is controlled by the moon, you know, then why isn't why would there not be like an astrological or like a do you get what? I, why? Why would the the astronomy not be pulling on us if we're ninety five percent water? 
you know. I would. I think the moon does affect us. Yeah. Like the moon. Like the moon. The, like the moon control. Like the moon affects the like the tide on the ocean, of the ocean. Absolutely. So if we're Absolutely. ninety, if we're ninety-five percent water, then why does the moon like not affect us? And not even the moon. I, I mean, not not only just the, the moon, moon but you got to go further into the moon because there's other things. Well. I don't. I'm not 100% sure, but I was gonna say there's got to be other things that affect the moon. Well, Earth has a huge effect on the moon. I mean, yeah. I don't know. Uh, I'm not. I'm. I don't necessarily believe, but I don't necessarily disbelieve either. Like I don't poo-poo it. You know, I'm like I don't know. You know, I love learning about it. I don't, uh... Like, astron like don't astronomy way. is like a... The moon is up there with the stars. Like, yeah, astronomy like, is a thing to me. Like, you know, like... Astronomy is just some shit. Oh, yeah. No, I, like I said, I don't I don't disbelieve in it. I just don't... I don't know. I don't, I don't know anything about it. I know that it used to be a... You know, it's kind of like a meme. You know, back in the 70s, it was all about, hey, baby, what's your sign? <laughs> Are we compatible? <laughs> yeah. That was the whole thing. And I remember, yeah, like my first uh, my first girlfriend was a fucking Aries, just like me. And then my second girlfriend was a goddamn Taurus. I don't and even... Two Aries are supposed to match, and two Tauruses are not... Or an Aries and a Taurus are not supposed to match, but those relationships were great. And then somebody that... Uh, uh, Amy was born in November... So she's like my brother, and that's supposed to be a good match for Aries, and we were like fucking oil and water. So I was like, well, shit, I don't know how much I buy into that shit. <laughs> but, but I don't know. There's probably I mean, shit. You know, I don't even, be to be honest with you, I don't even remember when my stuff. ex's birthday was. That's good. <laughs> that's good. I remember it might not be a good thing. <laughs> it might not be a good thing. My memory is going. Her, How Dang. long was you with her, though? Like a year? Yeah. I mean, shit, I was with Jennifer for fucking eight years. I was with Jamie for nine years. And then with Amy, um, that was just because it was the most recent. And I know she was November just because my, you know, my just, brother and my stepmother. I November. just busted ass. Busted it. I was with Amy. I was with Amy for what? Three years? Yeah, that was a short one. Comparatively speaking for me. Uh, I was goddamn pretty much married to the other two. Well, no, that's not true. Jen, Jen was, you know, Jennifer was fucking high school and college. But Jamie, I was pretty, I was pretty goddamn close with her. That one, I fucked it up. I was fucking drinking. I mean, we both did both bad shit to each other. I think that one could have worked. Damn, Cam, just did. start a fucking fire on the floor. Why don't you? Don't burn your house. Well, shit, fucking yeah. falling out of the, flying out of the bowl when I hit that fucker. Damn. <coughs> Well, I'm kind of excited that Faith can come over tomorrow and look at jobs. It is always kind of nice to have somebody there, and, <coughs> you know, mount the work off of. Even though I don't really fucking believe she could help me, really, but it's just nice having somebody to talk to about it. You said Faith. Yeah, I mean, she'll say whatever the fuck. She doesn't have a filter. She'll say some outlandish shit and sometimes kind of hurt my feelings, but I'm like, oh, this is, she doesn't even really mean it. She doesn't even know what the fuck fucking saying. You know, because she'll make assumptions about me. <laughs> I just, <laughs> I'm like, you're fucking way off base. You don't know. Because people see me. I guess I, I think I, per, I, um, I promote this or not promote. I'm having a tough time talking. But I, I put on an air of confidence and um, my people don't see like the inside me. You know, they don't, I don't ever, you know, I wouldn't let nobody know that I'm hurting mentally. Really, you know, I wouldn't let you know, I wouldn't let nobody know at that of that last job or nothing, you know. So when I, if I say that, they don't believe me. You know, like you're not depressed. It's like, yeah, you're right. <laughs> you know, 
What, so, were, we, what were we just know, talking about before that? <clears throat> we were talking about girls, birthdays, astronomy. Astronomy. Hmm. That was not even fucking playing Destiny anymore. Nah, they've been playing it all day. They're just fucking burn out of it. He's gonna come back every hour. That's what he said. He goes, we're gonna play some golf. He goes, I'll be back every hour on the hour to see if we can find out because that the the cup the puzzle piece that they just got didn't really help him. <coughs> Wendy, did you see this type Fortnite in chat? <laughs> Funny. I ate some mushrooms on Sunday night. She's bringing her little dog over tomorrow. You hear about uh, that? Yeah, I heard. Oh man, I'm nervous. I met that little thing. It's like the fucking size of a shoe. You gotta be on your best behavior tomorrow, Finn. Or you're gonna be outside. I don't Thanks. know how it's gonna go. So she's coming over tomorrow? She's coming over tomorrow morning to make pancakes and bring in her dog. With a boyfriend? I think she Her boyfriend lives in Seattle. Or, yeah, in Salem. And she goes to see her boyfriend on... She, she usually goes to see her boyfriend on Wednesday night. No, hell no, I ain't letting, no, letting her bring no boyfriend over here. Fuck no. But she lives she lives in this house filled with people. <laughs> and so I think she wants to get out of there. I mean, she really just using it <laughs> for a place to go hang out because she's not work. Well, she's working, but she's not. She's like, she, she also... She has her own cleaning company, like cleans houses. And so that's been keeping her busy, but. You know, I think she's, I think she's struggling a little bit with the DUI, which I fucking understand. You know, it's gonna, it's gonna put her back a little bit for like a month, but she, it's her first one, man. It's the first one to take a while, dude. Nothing, dude, fuck misdemeanor. I mean, it's a big thing, you know, if you get it and you ever had one or nothing, but looking back at it, I'm like, shit, the first couple are nothing. I'm pretty sure I just hit the bong on the TV. What TV? I mean, the the stream. Oh, are you streaming? <coughs> <coughs> totally forgot about it. I am matching incoming I got a text. It's probably Carmen. Writing. <laughs> Damn, I just don't like that because that shit's saved. Shit. <laughs> Sorry, Twitch and Mixer and DLive and YouTube and whoever the fuck else I'm streaming to. Sorry if I hit the bong on the stream. My bad. Wasn't even thinking. Totally slip my mind. We're not promoting that shit. <laughs> oh, 
another. Damn it! Fuck! Look at how hard I hit the ball. I can't even hold one eye all the way open. About fucked up as a two packer billy goat. What were you doing? Sorry. Did I kill your ears? No. I was... No, I didn't know you were streaming. I wouldn't have been talking all that shit. Oh, I don't give a fuck. Nobody, neither does anybody else. I know, but I mean, it's going out of line. <laughs> Just fucking delete the clip. So nobody can, I'm not worried, nobody's listening, but they can go back and research it. So that's the thing I don't like. Oh. Ah, fuck. That shit I can, saves them. I can delete it. If I want yeah, to. I don't, I don't think that's it. You didn't see anything crazy. I just don't, you know. That fucking internet, man. That shit's forever. <laughs> internet is bullshit. <laughs> Fuck the internet. I know. Fuck. All that personal shit gets out. People fuck. That's why the Oscars ain't got nobody fucking hosting. <laughs> That's just true to a certain extent. They ain't got a host again this year. Probably because anybody they wanted to host would get fucking either me too. Oh my fuck! I can use this. Fucking evolve the wrong goddamn Pokemon. It's because I fucking coughed and released the button on accident. Oh, yeah, we about to get some. Oh, shit. God, I fuck. I can't help her with that. Three o'clock. Fuck. I want to go to that. Oh well, I'll tell her tomorrow. Can help her for a little bit. But... Shit, it's an hour away. How are you gonna help her at all? What's that now? I said if it's an hour away. No, she wants to come get me. And then, and then. Uh, have me go with her to this place that's two hours away. Drop this fucking refrigerator off. But she was talking about three o'clock in the afternoon, and I'm like, wait a minute, I got a fucking six o'clock meeting. Or, or no, I think it starts at seven. 
a seven o'clock meeting I want to go to. Uh, not tomorrow, but Thursday. So, yeah, I may not be helping with that damn fridge. Besides, my wrist is fucked up. I be lifting up. <coughs> yeah, I'm gonna get out of that. Ah, shit, I ain't gonna miss that meeting. That shit might help. Damn, this floor is dirty as hell. Man, I was watching, I shouldn't even be looking at shit, but CNN was put out some fucked up report about people that smoke heavy smokers of marijuana, even when they sober up, are worse drivers than people that don't smoke. And I'm like, hey, Bitch, I'm a good ass old. driver. I be doing I donuts know, backwards like, in the man, fucking Monte Carlo. Cool. Like, like, fuck, get the fuck out of here. You better go suck a dick. I, dude, Eat a bag of dicks. I I was like, dude, I know some people that have never smoked and can't drive for <laughs> shit. I'm like, that is that has nothing to do with it. And people were all over, you know, the internet was all over them saying, this is a fucked up. And they're like, who fucking wrote this report? Anheuser Busch? I'm like, yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, that's the alcohol company that wrote that shit. I'm like, yeah, they don't matter, man. If you want to write a report, talk about, you know, having a drink and have been going Dude, driving. they did they did a test a long time ago on sober weed and drinking while you're driving. Smoking weed only lowers your reaction time by eleven percent. Yeah, how's that how's that alcohol? Like eighty? <laughs> Eight it was like thirty something percent. And texting was the worst, fifty percent. Well, if you're blackout drunk, I'm sure that's the worst. But, yeah. Yeah, no, I'm, I would say that, yeah, phones are probably the biggest killer next to alcohol. That's what'll kill you, is some stupid-ass bitch on her fucking phone. I see it. That's why I'm careful, man. Like, when Spinner and I are out walking, dude, I'm fucking real careful with cars. Motherfuckers, man, they, it's just, it's prevalent everywhere. Everybody's on their goddamn phone. It's like, these phone, these phone companies need to come out with something that disables the fucking phone when you're in the car. <laughs> yeah. It only, only allows you to fucking play music. Just, it takes out the SMS, you know? You don't get texts and you don't get phone calls. So you turn that shit off. And then you can fucking text well, and call all you the want. The only way you should be able to get phone calls is if it's fucking hands free. Hands free, right, right. Yeah, yeah, something like that. Like, like you if you're connected you know. if you're connected to the Bluetooth and you're just talking to the fucking car, which I do that. Yeah. Like I'll just talk into the car. Yeah, that's, fine. Um, yeah, yeah. that's totally different. You're not concentrating that's on the fun. phone, you're not holding the phone, nothing like no, that. No, yeah. Texting should be just fucking disabled. Like you shouldn't be able to get incoming texts let alone make them but it's like because my brother man i used to watch him driving and he'd get a text he'd just fucking be sitting there reading it it's like you're not even watching the goddamn road you can't read no damn text and then and then start texting back it's like oh fuck hell that's no hell yeah, no i'm dangerous. like hold on just a minute hold on hold on hold on hold on hold on, hold on. I, I value my life yeah <laughs> and yeah. well not yours the other people that are on the fucking road you know, it's like, damn, I don't give a fuck about these stupid bitches if they die. I'm worried about them killing other people. And I say bitches because the, the women are the fucking, like, the worst culprits. Yes. The ones at least that I know. I mean, I'm sure guys are just fucking terrible, too, but... <coughs> man, these little girls, these I bet I almost worse, guarantee uh, you that women are worse. Yeah, they're worse about that phone. Yeah, the phone. For sure. The phone. The phone, yeah. I mean, I'm sure guys have more instances of drunk driving. That's just for sure. But I'll tell you what, them women are bad about the phones. Bad about it. Texting back and shit. Bitch. What the fuck are you doing? I gotta do these dishes. I gotta do dishes too. 
But I gotta close some more. I got three days in a row closing. What the fuck is that? Because I got Sunday off. Oh, that's nice. I got last Sunday off. Yeah, I do all this shit tomorrow, but I forgot I was gonna throw a favor. She's gonna drop her daughter off at seven. She'll probably be over there early. This house is gonna be a little bit. I think I was saying, oh, I, yeah, that's, I'm sure, I mean, that's why she's not trying to hang out. I don't think she necessarily likes me as a person. I think it's just because she's stuck between the rock and And I got a house. Yeah. I live by myself. It's more attractive to somebody that's got a house full of fucking people than a quiet place. I don't, I don't mind. I use the company until I figure it out. Thought about maybe getting a room out. Shit, don't fucking get better. I'm sure they can go if I don't have to do job. I can only, like, I don't know. I've had roommates and. I do better on my own. Like, it might be rougher financially, but it would only be for financial. <laughs> and I, I mean, I, it'll be the last resort, really. I would not want. I do not want a roommate. I don't want anybody to live. I can't stand that shit. I can't stand messy people. But, it, you know, I ain't allowing drinking in here. So. <laughs> so. <laughs> anyway, I remember Sue, that dude that I was working with, he's like, are you trying to get a roommate? And I'm like, ain't nobody drinking in here. That just stops the conversation. I, ain't, I don't allow alcohol to drink in here, dude. That's why it's mine. I mean, you're going to tempt me with that motherfucking shit. I've already been down that road. My, well, my weakness is grab a fucking beer. God, throw all this shit away. I ain't had a drink in fucking almost. Shit. Yeah, it's coming up on nine years. It's a long fucking time. Yeah, March will be nine fucking years. I need a drink just thinking about that shit. Yeah, man. Damn. Yeah. That shit is not easy. I'd probably be easy for a square, square, straight ace, and you know, somebody that don't even really have a problem with it or nothing, but that wasn't me. I used to drink. That's why I don't like going to Christmas over at my fucking, my cousins, my uncles and shit. They all be getting fucking sauced up. And I'm never going to tell nobody not to do that, but I don't have to do <laughs> that. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I said sauced. Damn yeah, right, son. Oh, <laughs> You know, when you're sober, that shit sucks. It's like, fuck no, I don't want to hear the same fucking story three times. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> it is annoying as fuck. Do I tell the same story three times over? Three no, times? I get off the line and start doing that. <laughs> I'll be like, alright, time for me to go. Do I do that? Nah, I haven't heard it. Oh, okay. No. He was drunk as shit the other night, though. I was getting a little annoyed. I needed to get off the line. I was like, shit, man, I don't want to hear that shit. What was I saying? <laughs> what was I talking about? <laughs> you said, get all your friends walk down the stream. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> get them. Bring them. 
<laughs> you know. Get drunk, yeah. People talk about me. <laughs> <laughs> was I talking about <laughs> was I saying your Amazon friends or some shit? Dude, I don't know. <laughs> you was totally, you was totally, I don't think you knew what you were doing. Dude, I probably drank that much tonight. There's a line in the middle of this label right here. I'm pretty sure that's the halfway mark. If I had to guess. If I was a drinker and I was a guessing. This yeah. is the halfway mark, this line right here. But it's very, it, it's, it sucks because what it does is it triggers in me that shit. It's like, damn, man, I was just like that. And I bet I annoyed the fuck out of people. And then it, and then I start thinking about it. And I start thinking about the mistakes that I made. And it's just not good for me. That's why I don't do it. Not necessarily yeah. that I can't stand it or, or that, you know, that it hurts my feelings. You know, no, nah, it's because I internalize. And it's like, last thing I need is somebody fucking reminding me of the mistakes that I made. Look that shit. You know, it's one thing it's an AA meeting, everybody's so sober, that's a whole different story. But that's why I don't go to the bar. These motherfuckers, these fucking assholes pissed me off. Man, I met some fucking them. crazy people at the bar when I was in Florida. Crazy people. We had this Ooh. one fucker and he did airboat rides in the um what's that the Everglades. And he said You can go out on another boat. But they don't call him like I do. And he started fucking calling alligators, man, right in the middle of the fucking bar. And I was like, oh, hell no. Get this fucker out of here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they had like a Christmas party. And everybody's like, why didn't you go? At when I was at Amazon, I was like, oh, man, I was drink. And this one motherfucking idiot, he might. He had the fucking audacity to say, well, they got soda. And I'm like, you fucking stupid motherfucker. I just called him right out. I'm like, you think I want to be around some drunk ass people? When I've had you know, troubles and I ain't had a drink in fucking nine years, he put it all stupid. He was like, oh, my bad. I'm like, yeah, exactly right, you're fucking bad. Think before you speak next time. You don't know me. <laughs> I was fucking hot. <laughs> I was fucking that was bad. at was Amazon? Like, yeah, that was at Amazon. We were out smoking. I told him, I was like, think before you speak to me. You don't fucking know me. <laughs> He fucking, he, he got the picture right away that I am not somebody to be fucked with. And don't be fucking trying your little pussy ass fucking, come on, just, it's like, motherfucker. Come on, Craig. I'm fucking, almost 50, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> motherfucker. And he's older than I am. Like, who the fuck, god damn, grow the fuck up. Talk to me like some child. Just because we work with a bunch of 25 year olds, I don't mean I fucking act, you know. I ain't no kid. The fuck out of here! <laughs> I made him feel kind of bad. I, I almost felt bad about it, but I'm like, nah, man. Maybe, maybe the next time he'll think. Where he fucking talks to somebody he doesn't really know. Cause I didn't fucking, I didn't. That shit. I don't deserve that shit. I sure as hell didn't instigate it. But I'll finish it. Finish that shit right now. Like, you think I work at this motherfucker because my life is going well? Fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> motherfucker, my life's going down the goddamn that's, tube. Don't think. But that's um, all That's all some people know, though. It's just fucking, you know. I know. Just get, let me, let me scrape, not, let me, let me scrape the, fucking... let me scrape the bottom. Let me scrape the bottom to get the best job I can get while I can. You know. I mean. Yeah. Not saying that it's a bottom feeder job. I mean, it could have been oh, okay. That <clears throat> job was a bottom feeder job. That shit. The only reason I was fucking even did that job is because I was, you know, my fucking depression. And I just don't. I feel so shitty about myself that I took a fucking job that's way beneath me. But I'm, as not some, saying I'm just saying, saying like. like Man, you look that, at my it, fucking that was pretty much a seasonal. That was pretty much a seasonal thing. They were like, "Oh, the fucker, you know, we're only gonna get somebody in here for such and such amount of time." That's you what we're looking a, for. You need a high school diploma and a pulse to work at that motherfucker. And if you're smart, you're gonna you're gonna quit it because it's not a good job. That's for high school graduates. That is what that job's for. I had no business being there. But I'm so fucked up. 
I'm so down on myself that I fucking convinced myself that that's all I deserve. That's how fucked up shit is getting. I gotta break this cycle now. But I'm saying if it had head. been if it had been like a different type of like let's just say it was like a management type job at Amazon, it could have eventually went somewhere. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But, yeah. You know, but Absolutely. yeah, if it was a uh, you know, but they still don't pay those motherfuckers anything. You know, maybe you got maybe forty grand a year. Shit. Yeah. I make forty grand a year. I'm, I'm, and I'm, but I'm on the other side of the, you know, the cost of living's a lot cheaper down here. I'm happy with forty grand a year. You got a, you got an ability to make money off of the place if it makes money. You got, yeah, you got a whole different. You're just moving up, I, but and you're also not forty five, you know, with a college degree and fucking, you know, twenty years of sales experience. Right. It's like what the fuck am I doing that? It's because I fucking don't like myself, and I don't have that fucking driver's license, and it fucking plays tricks on me. It makes me really fucking make some bad decisions. I never should have taken that job at Amazon. Never, ever. I mean, it's not the worst thing I've ever done, but god damn. But you got a little bit of change in your pocket for a minute. For a minute. Yeah. No, it's not. I mean, like I said, it's not the worst thing. I mean, I didn't go out and drink. I didn't go drive. I didn't get, you know, busted drinking and driving. I didn't go fucking assault somebody. I didn't, you know, get caught with, you know. Yeah, there's a lot of worse shit that could have happened. But in my mind, see, this is where the depression comes. It, it, you know, it tells me that, you know, quitting that job was like the worst. And then I just get super down on myself like something really bad happened to me, which nothing did. But that's what's so fucked up about this fucking disease, dude. Somebody, I was, I was reading something earlier today. And I didn't even really think about it in these terms. But they say, man, if you know somebody with depression, <laughs> take it easy on them, man. You don't understand what that disease will do to you. It's not just, oh, I'm a little bit sad. It's like, think about your dog just died and then multiply that times 10. And that's how that person feels every day. And I'm like, damn, that's just true. That's just true. And it's like, damn, fuck. I don't want it to be like this. I need to get something figured out. But I'm, I'm tired of living like this. But... That's the reality of it. It's like, man, I understand why people kill themselves. I fucking get it. I get it because your mind gets distorted. It's not that things are so bad. It's that something's fucked up in your mind. And it won't let you think right. And it won't let you make, you know, rational decisions. Because, like, I mean, honestly, you know, anybody looking, you know, I was talking to people and they're like, why the fuck are you doing that? I mean, I don't, I don't I need a job. I don't feel good about myself. This is the only kind of shit I think I deserve. And just, you know, and they shake their head and say, well, damn, I wish you didn't have that. I think, you know, I feel like my job stresses me out sometimes, but you know what? When I was, in, you know, coming up in high school, a little bit after high school, I worked at a car wash, and that was my favorite job. So... That's what I think about. I'm like, damn, working at a car wash is my damn favorite job. At one point, so. And it's not that bad. I mean, it's really not that bad. I fucking go to work and do nothing. Pretty much. I just fix shit if I need to fix shit. Hmm. No, I got this fucked up pride that is fucking me up. I need to do something that is like equivalent to my talents but i feel like i don't deserve those kinds of jobs but i feel terrible if i don't if i'm not doing something that's equivalent to it so i just do nothing that shit ain't working but, oh well hopefully favor come over i'll apply for some shit tomorrow and maybe maybe it'll get better i know that not having a license it just fucking compounds it because it just takes you know any 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 strides that I make maybe in the in the progression of the disease just get you know I start thinking about that and I just get fucked up so I know I'll never really start to get over it until I get my freedom back and ain't nothing gonna do that but time so I'm just trying what to what time is time. it is it time for Dado and them to do that shit yet yep yep why is he not he's still fucking playing golf I'm gonna go back to fucking glad hopefully he's doing it Oh, yeah, see, he, on the bottom of his screen, he got that. He's got this. Yeah. 
What is this? I need to go back to Glad. This is Glad. Okay. I'm going back to Glad. Yeah, man. I don't. I don't know what the fuck's I don't know. going I'm on I'm here. I'm fucking tired of that fucking uh, feeling like this, though. What's I'll tell going you what. on? I just want Glad to be the bigger one. What the fuck? There we go. I think I got it now. I don't know how it happened. But I got it. I'm getting stomped in fucking Pokemon. You're whooping my ass. Huh, the more I think about it, the more I'm going to get married bringing her little dog over. That's all I'm hurt. Yeah, but you gotta be calm. That's all. Cat! The fuck are you doing up there? <laughs> you tell me. You gotta be calm. Cat! Motherfucker, break it. That cat, that cat's a fucker, though. You just gotta be calm with the dog, though. You just gotta be like, eh, you know. I'm okay with Spinner being around another dog. He ain't gonna do nothing. If she's tense, then that her dog's dog. gonna be tense. If if you're relaxed, Spinner's gonna be relaxed. He ain't gonna be relaxed. You don't know. He ain't met him. <laughs> he gets wild. He'll be fine. I mean, I'm not. I'm not too worried about it. I just don't want to deal with it. So her dog might be in her car. If that shit don't go right, he's met. No, I mean I've had shit. I remember I was seeing this one girl. She was over here with her labradoodle. They got along fucking great. Her and yeah, Spinner and that dog was. I can't remember that dog's name, but they were fucking playing and having a great time. Now my dad brought his dog over that had passed away, Sydney, Australian Shepherd. Sydney didn't want nothing to do with Spinner. I had a Cocker Spaniel Australian Shepherd one time. Does a mix Australian Shepherd, Cocker Spaniel, pretty dog. But it wasn't, it wasn't Spinner's fault at all. It was, and my dad knew it too, because we were just like, oh, Sydney doesn't want nothing to do with Spinner, and he was just trying to play, and she was fucking growling at him, but he didn't growl back. He was good. No, I'm not worried. I'm not worried so much um, about him. Well, then it's gonna be on her then. Hurting the dog on purpose. It's just her dog, like I said, is the size of a shoe. Spinner's fucking 80 pounds. Yeah, no, that's what I said. I was like, your dog better not fucking get him to where he snaps at him. You better watch your dog. She's met Spinner. She knows Spinner. She's been over here. She knows what kind of dog he is. And I've met her dog. Her dog is a little sweetheart. So I'm just hoping that everything's fine, but. It still causes a little bit of anxiety. It's like, fuck. That was, I mean, I just found, you found out about that the same time I did. <laughs> uh, but I got to get out of my head. And having her around, I don't think about my problems at all. Because it's a fucking hurricane of, you know, things coming at me from, you know, she just got a lot going on. Whereas my life, I keep it nice and simple. You know, I mean, I got issues, but my issues are I just need to find a nice job. I need to get through this next year and a year and a bit so I can get my freedom back and then start building my life again. You know, I don't want to sit at home and play video games. It's just the choice that I, you know, that's kind of the choices that I have. You know, I ain't going to go to no damn bar. There ain't a lot of shit to do that's out there that's that social without a car there really ain't I love people telling me oh well you should do this and this and I'm bitch have you ever had have you ever don't drive for a week and then come tell me what to do and they're like well I'm like yeah shut the fuck up <laughs> it's like you have no idea what it's like in this world right? 
people be giving advice like they know we're flat. Hello? Yeah, I get it. Hello? Oh, gotcha. Hey, what's up? Take Tyson. Man, I just started playing this game not that long ago. I'm not that far into it. I'm like... Indigo player and just just now playing. So I'm not good. Just went to Walmart and picked up a couple of decks a few days ago. That's what I'm playing with. I am. Oh no, I'm talking to chat. Okay. They want to play. They want to talk to me. Take Tyson. Are you watching me? Berg McBergelson. Mm. Oh, Not much of that. Oh, okay. I'm trying to figure out this freaking thing. Shit. Figure out the damn thing then. <laughs> I bet you most of the community is saying that right now. Hmm. <sighs> Let me just give him a two thousand dollar tip. My bad, I didn't have the chat screen up a minute ago. Two thousand dollars. You believe that shit? Who got two thousand dollars? Glad somebody tipped him two thousand a fucking dollar. What? Where? Oh, On Twitch. Yoked underscore two thousand fucking dollars. How long ago is that? I think it just happened. All I see is a bunch of fucking emojis. Oh, somebody subbed for uh two months. Oh, redeemed highlight my message one thousand. I need PC, Dad. I can't afford pick me. <laughs> okay. Who the fuck is that? Two thousand dollars. There's some rich people in this world, man. These Don't people are macking, dude. I'm telling you. Damn it. This fucking blows my mind. I'm over here like I need twenty dollars to buy a Seriously. new deck. Let me get like eight dollars and fifty cents. These motherfuckers are throwing down K's. I 
I need... I think it's about $18.20 and I can get another one of these. They're gonna try to... I try and break. Brute force it. Dude, I want to see the map. That's the only thing about Glad doesn't have the map up. Let me go back to data. He's got that. I got both of them. Oh yeah, Data's got it. Oh, so thirteen just dropped. Got you. Yeah, see they're missing one, two, three, four, five, six. That's six more hours of shit. If they don't figure it out, so they're gonna try and brute force it. Brute force it. Yeah, aka guess what the missing ones are and just try to. They got a spreadsheet and they say that it's uh, 125 possibilities per person. <laughs> per person. Because it's exponentially. Well, they can do that in an hour. If they, they, can, they can break break a spreadsheet down, I believe. Because you know that. If you're looking at data stream and you look at between four and seven, you know that that cannot be a clover because 12 goes to four, which is a clover. But that's really the only possibility that they can get rid of. So that four more possibilities are there. Oh, Spin, you need to go outside, buddy. Farting like a motherfucker. Are you stanking? Yeah, he was, he was laying below. Are you stanking, boy? Oh. Good God Almighty, what do you think? What are you looking at? Somebody parked in front of my house? Go take your shit. I took him for a nice walk before it snowed in it. It didn't stick. I mean, it stuck for like a minute, a hot minute. Go take it. You got warm? Yeah, then it got warm. Yo, go take a shit. Go back. Parking a car in front of the house. I don't know what the fuck it is. I don't know why that bothers me. It shouldn't, but people, people do that because there ain't no cars. There ain't no was, cars in my house. I was gonna say people shooting their drugs out there. No, nah, it's somebody that lives here because they keep parking there. It's a BMW. It's not a bad car. It's an older one. It's like the one that I used to have. It's you know, it's not worth shit now, but it's not a shit box. But it's just weird. They parked the wrong fucking direction. Parking in between me and the neighbor's house. Like, why is he parking? Probably well, a house that's you know, got a bunch of people living in it. Oh, they, can't, they don't want a bunch of cars in front of their house. Like, well, why the fuck you think it's okay to put people here? Fuck my ass out of here. Get on out of here. Get off my yard. Get off my lawn. The old man on the Take a shit, dog. Damn, that shit was fucking me up for a second. God dang it. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. That's eleven. What? 
do they're not gonna force that. That's a computing term. That's how they uh, that's how they used to break into systems. Forcing it? Prior to Yeah, prior to much higher levels of encryption of passwords. They used to you know, they would you can have a code generator if you have a guess on how many characters it is. And you can use that cord code generator to quote unquote brute force a password. And that's how a lot of hackers used to break into websites. Here's the motivational quote for today. You don't always have to beat the competition, just outlast them. It's an aggressive quote. <laughs> You know, uh, you know, I, I prefer a better rendition of that. You want to hear it? Okay. You don't got to be faster than the bear. You just got to be faster than your buddy. That's right. <laughs> I've heard that one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And or just trip his ass. I just ain't got to be the slowest one. <laughs> All right. Be faster than the ground. But that goes to fucking, yeah. Fucked up side. Goes to undo competition because there's a lot of a lot of factors at play that try to get people to compete against each other so they're not paying attention to what's really going on. Our government is fantastic at that. They want you to pick a side, Republican or Democrat, as opposed to policy and figuring out where the money is going. They'd rather have you get all up in arms about some stupid shit. Or they might does. have some shit going on and you don't even know what's going on. The news is covering it and some other shit's going on in the background. You're fucked. Yeah, with the news, you gotta be careful with the news because the news are agenda setters. And a lot of that news, especially the Fox motherfuckers, are just spewing lies. Just spewing lies. That shit's so terrible. That shit is run by Murdoch and his fucking friends, and they're some of the richest motherfuckers in the world, and they're just trying to fleece everybody, they're trying to get everybody on their side because they want to keep, you know, being as rich as possible, as opposed to presenting things that are not good for the American public, like supporting petroleum companies and shit like that. I heard some bullshit the other day. Fucking I need my petroleum. I need to run my race cars. I ain't talking about just gas. I'm talking about all the plastic and all that other bullshit that has corrupted the shit out of this fucking environment. And I don't, you know, whatever. For them, that's cool. But our government is fucking supporting it and subsidizing it. And it's fucked up. Those companies are the richest companies in the world. And they fucking dig into the government's pocket. But guess who pays that shit? Not Trump. But you and me. Like I, I shouldn't be building a fucking retaining wall in Houston for fucking oil companies. That ain't that ain't what my tax money's for. It's just bullshit. When when all these fucking schools are fucking closing down, they don't have fucking music class and shit. But oh no, we need to save fucking Chevron. Fucking bullshit, dude. That fucking the government's a fucking cesspool. And one motherfucker said he's gonna clean it up. He just fucking muddied it way worse. I need my race and fuel. Regardless Shit. of what these fuckers want, I need it. <laughs> motherfucker. I need to pop know. wheelies! I need to pop wheelies! You feel you me? You need to become more socially fucking aware, is what you need to be. I just need to pop wheelies in my car. You'll pop a wheelie on your skateboard. That's easy. I need to do this. This is on my bucket list. I need this in my life. I need to pop wheelies. That's the with problem with America. With vehicles. Well, go get you a fucking off-road motorcycle and go pop wheelies. I, I had a... I had... <laughs> That's not the same! I need to be on asphalt with four wheels in a vehicle with a steering wheel. I need to pop wheelies. It's not the same. I've had a four-wheeler. 
dirt bikes, all that shit, fuck it. I want to pop wheelies on with a car. and healthcare in the fucking world. That's what I want. We used to not have the worst education. We do now. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Cause don't nobody know no fucking common sense around this motherfucker no more. No, it's because it's not funded. It's not funded at all. Don't nobody know shit. Don't nobody know shit around this motherfucker no more. and education is so fucking back ass it's depressing this is the one thing I'll say if, these, if you ain't depressed you ain't paying attention if you ain't fucking questioning what's going on you just got your fucking head in the sand cause this shit is fucked up these days I ain't it's been getting worse I ain't even listening to this shit in a while I ain't even listening to this shit in a while and I'm fucking depressed <laughs> yeah <laughs> fuck it I don't understand how people don't get just fucking bury their heads. Like, well, at least vote. At least vote. Come November, at least vote. Read that shit. Figure out who actually stands for what. Don't pick a side. Look at the policy. Look at the issues. Vote. If only they put that shit out at the voting booths. They mail it to your house. All they do is put... They just put pamphlets in the mail. That's what you read. I don't get hardly no pamphlets in the mail. They put them... They hand them shits out at the... At the booth. And this is the names you need to be looking for. This is the name... Bitch, tell me some shit. Tell me some shit then, bitch. Yeah, no, they, they need to... They don't say don't shit around here. It don't matter what side you're on. They don't say shit. They bitch ass, Dude, bitch ass, bitch ass motherfuckers. I'm trying to tell you. They don't want that's it. Why that's why America's broken, Cam. That's why it's broken. Because everybody's mad, and they don't even know why they're mad. And they don't, and they don't, and I ask them about any kind of policy decisions. They don't fucking, they don't understand. They're like, well, ain't nobody tell me nothing. It's like, you don't read nothing? You don't fucking, you don't look at the policy? You know, look and see what somebody's voting for. You understand how the government works? No. That's because our education system's in this shit. And that shit was not taught correctly. I learned... I, I, I really tell you what. They out. need to focus on American, like, policies and shit like that. Because I remember learning about that shit, like, two times. And it was very brief. Like, oh, we're just gonna brush on that shit so everybody's stupid. Fuck, man. I had, I was fortunate. I had a pretty good education. They need, they need to teach civics, though, because I mean, I talk to young people and they just, they don't even understand. They don't even understand how the fucking government works. And I ask them the difference between the House of Representatives and the Senate, and they just don't. They look at me like, what? And I'm like, do you know that that's what makes up Congress? Do you understand what that? And they just, huh? No. All the motherfuckers are bad. I'm like, well, that's ignorant. You, just, you don't, you know. You just they just need need to learn a little bit, understand how it works, how the government flows. I'm just a not, bill. Not all of, you can't, yeah, you can't. Just you need to listen to some schoolhouse stuff. rock, bitch. Well, yeah, for the fourth graders, but I mean, literally, the high schoolers don't even understand the difference between a, a representative and senator. They don't. They don't. Yeah sad it's sad i mean these are basic fundamentals of our uh, justice system or our, uh, our government but, just, but our government bodies and they don't understand how they work how they function what they what what they serve and the and the government wants it that way i mean i shouldn't say the government but the corruption wants it that way the less you know and the matter they can get you the better off they are and that's all they do they just want to sling dirt and get you mad and tell lies and get you to vote for them. That's right. And it and that's don't matter what side you're on. 
Yeah, I would say there's equal parts, but the Republicans have really fucking hit an all-time low within the last decade. And I would say that that party is, is hurting for certain. They do not have a white knight in the middle. Of, I mean, I don't know any. Well, I don't think either side right. does, to be honest with you. Oh, there absolutely are some. There's some fantastic Democratic representatives and uh, senators. Oregon's got a great senator. Uh, senator Wyden is fantastic. People make fun of him because he lists, but then he, I'm like, well, what policies do you disagree? Well, I don't know. You don't even know what he stands for. <laughs> you just don't like him because he's a Democrat. Yep. Well, you're fucking ignorant. That guy's a fucking... Sh he's, he's a white knight. He's actually fucking trying to fight for the good. He's fighting for education reform. He's fighting for fucking government reform. He's fighting for big business getting out of uh, politics. And these super PACs that run the United States. That, well, that over here, really over here where there ain't people, we ain't got that shit. Ain't nobody fighting for shit. Everybody just wants their name out there. They don't give a fuck. You, you hear Spinner, he, he hear what I'm talking about. He know what I'm talking about. That's right, Spinner. Fuck all them fuckers. Hey, that's enough, buddy. Okay. You he on that off. shit. He on that shit. Fuck them fuckers. Is something in the backyard? You need to get let out? Go get, get, get into somebody? Take a nice bite out of their ass? I won't stop you. I'll be right behind you with the hammer. That's... It's fucked up. But I want I want to not lump it up and just say it's all fucked up. It's all bad. Because that's not the answer. The answer is fucking being more educated about it. And voting the right it way. is all fucked up, fun. though. Oh, it is. It is. But I want to do something good about it. I want to read about the issues both the right way so my conscience is clear say, hey, I didn't just bury my head in the sand. I fucking... It don't matter what you, you vote. Know, it don't matter what you vote on. It ain't the same shit that you voted on anyways. They're gonna change that shit after you vote on it anyways. They don't give a fuck. They don't give a fuck about you. Maybe. That's it. That's because of the electoral college. Now, that's a fucked up thing. That is a fucked up thing. That's why Iowa is so important. Because they're one of the, the biggest fucking... Uh, bulk of the fucking electoral college. That's, that is really broken. Because do you know that Hillary had more votes than Trump? Yeah, same thing with Bush and Al Gore. Yeah. Well, that went down to Florida. That was a fucked up thing. And that's because uh, George's brother he was able to clean that, that hanging Chad bullshit. Florida. Yeah, I mean, politics has been fucked up for a long time. It's just getting worse. That's the problem. We're not going in the right direction. I'm not saying that, you know, we get somebody in office and they're going to fix everything. We just need to turn the fucking boat around. We're just getting worse. We're just getting worse. And it's like, we need to start getting better. It's not going to get fixed overnight. It's not going to, you know, it's not like going to be a whole new world if we get somebody else in office. But at least we might be able to fucking stop the bleeding. We're just fucking hemorrhaging right now. The country's getting, you know, just going, this is terrible. The wealth disparity, the fact that Amazon.com, the richest company in the world, paid zero federal income tax. That is the, that's, if, I don't know anybody in their right mind that thinks that's okay. I sure as hell pay taxes. I work for that it's fucking all about company. Them, the fuck it's that all company about pay? them donations and, and loopholes. Well, yeah. Who do you think wrote those and, and proposed those and passed them? They've been there for a long time. Oh, no, no. The most recent ones were passed by Trump and company. And they were passed by the Senate because it's run by Republicans. This shit's so the fucked up. I used to work for I ain't paid income taxes in years. Well, that's fucked up because you sure as hell pay taxes. The business hasn't paid income taxes, but he has as an individual. That's fucked up. That's not the way it should be. The, the tax code needs to be rewritten. That's what I'm telling you, man. That's why I'm going to vote the way that I'm going to vote because there's, good, you know, there is somebody that's going to be hopefully be on the but ballot. But it's been that it's been that way for years, though. I know it needs to change. 
that don't mean it's right. Just because you you know you got a you got fucking cancer and your pancreas needs to be out and it's been that way for ten fucking years doesn't mean you don't need to go to the doctor and get it fixed. You know we're we this country's got cancer, man. We need to go get some fucking leukemia. You know we can't just say, well, it's just been like that. Well, fuck, man. <laughs> we gotta let's do something about it. How come fucking insulin is ten times the cost in Can- in the uh, United States than it is in Canada? It's the same shit. It ain't like America's got the good insulin. It's the same fucking shit. It just costs you ten times more in the United States than it does in fucking Canada. And it's fucking, it's like 25 times if you go get it in Mexico. Now, again, you may get some dirty shit in Mexico. It may not be the same stuff. But people are still doing it. But that's ridiculous, man. We've got an epidemic of uh, people that are uh, obese and have diabetes because of poor diet. And then they get on the insulin and then they go fucking bankrupt because they can't afford it. That's not the way the United States should be, but that's the way it is. And that shit needs to change. And that's run by big business and big healthcare. And everybody's looking the other way. And it, and it needs to stop. It needs to stop big time. That's why, man, we need, we need fucking Medicare for all. And Pepsi. we need Pepsi. Paying, paying attention to the fucking education system. Everybody's mad because these kids are fucking depressed and shooting up shit and fucking dumb as hell. Ooh, I've seen the, bad why, shit. Why you, I've seen bad you, shit happen to people on Medicaid. And that was when I was working at the pharmacy. I've that's seen bad mean. shit. I've seen bad shit happen to good to rich people or like what more wealthier people. It don't matter who the fuck you are. Bad shit's gonna happen to you regardless. What do you mean bad shit, dude? When when Obama when Obama came into office when I was working at the pharmacy, we had all types of people that were on Medicaid. They were pissed off because they were now having to pay for shit. I don't understand what you mean. It was something to do with the way that they they worked the Medicaid shit before before the pharmacy. They were writing off all these these Medicaid charges like people that were on Medicaid that were not paying for their prescriptions they were writing them shits off some some type of law passed this is when I was able to go on to my parents insurance till I was 26 same at the same time they passed another law and these Medicaid people where we were not able to write that shit off on our taxes anymore, so people were having to pay that shit. So we weren't able to write it off on our taxes anymore. It's give and take. Well, it's a give and take world. The cost of the medicine? <clears throat> you were right. If you, the cost if, of you the if you are if you yeah if you were on Medicaid you had one. One dollar and ten cents, three dollars and thirty cents, or three dollars, and for we what? would and we would for any medicine. So your your even your main brands were three dollars and thirty cents, like fucking your top brands that didn't have generics, three dollars and thirty cents, and we were writing them shits off. Well, after some other shit passed, we were not able to write any of them off, so people had to pay either one dollar and ten cents, three dollars and thirty cents, or three dollars. Yeah, I'd like to know. I don't think, I mean, people blame that on Obama, but I don't think that that's true. I think that there was something that happened with the super PACs that have something to do with healthcare that changed that law. That's what I'm saying, is people blame well, it this on is Obama. When I wor- Obama this, is, this is six years ago when I worked at the pharmacy. So I, six, I'm curious. Seven, if you want six, that. seven, I mean, you know, somewhere around in there. See, more information is needed to make an informed decision on whether, you know, what was good or what was bad. Because I think it was the health of, you know, uh, conglomerate. It was big business. It was Pfizer and 
fucking those other motherfuckers that are not that have lobbyists. They're like drug companies shouldn't have anything to do with the government unless it's government run. Pfizer shouldn't have anything to do with policy setting, but they do. Johnson and Johnson shouldn't be fucking shouldn't have senators in their back pockets, but they do. That's who fucked you, the drug company. Not you know, it wasn't the government. I mean, the government passed laws, so it was, you know, directly, you know, indirectly them. But the who who passed, you know, who fucking lobbied for those laws and who passed them? Who got them on the books? I don't know. It's well it? before Trump was thought of, though, being president. I'm not blaming it on Trump. Oh yeah, Trump is not the reason why healthcare is so terrible in the United States. He's just he's just further. He's just opening the floodgates for big business because he believes that big business is, you know, the future. And I think, and I disagree a hundred percent. I'm on the opposite side of that. I think that big business should have nothing to do with our government. Big business has been crawling into our government since Reagan. That's before you were born. <laughs> that shit's been getting bad for years and years. And Bill Clinton, the Democrat, was not helpful. He was not helpful. And George Bush furthered it. And Obama was given this lump of shit that he tried to fucking help. And he tried to turn it around. And it got poo-pooed and fucking... And it's, and it's just a shit show now. The Bushes are the get, most, most Democratic Republican family ever. I would say Lincoln is the most Republican. <laughs> You know, Lincoln was a Republican. It's yeah, that's what I'm saying. Is that party has changed? It used to be. I hell before Reagan, I would have been proud to be a Republican. But since Reagan, mm -mm. no sir, no sir, e Bob. That party changed. That party got greedy, and it's not the same. The Republican Party is 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 a is a skeleton of what it was. The fucking founders of that party would fucking roll over in their graves. And this is what's so funny, is the Democrats were the slave-owning South. That's that's where you come from, Democrats. But you'd be damned if you ever hear any fucking North or South Carolina that's saying, oh, I'm Democrat, you know what I mean? It's like, well, who the fuck do you think were the slave owners? Democrats. <laughs> that's how things have changed so drastically. Uh -huh. that's, how, that's how fucking drastic things have changed. That's why I'm like, don't listen to party, listen to policy, listen to the person. And the reason why they're in that party is because that's the way our fucked up world works. And it's like, you got, you can't, you can't win as independent. And you can't do anything if you don't win. So you got to play the game. You got to get in there. But that's the only way you can change it. Because I swear to God, the, the you know, the, the front runner doesn't give a shit about what you call him. He just wants to make change. And he knows what's wrong. And he's got a fucking huge history of voting that way. That's why everybody's, you know, the people that are getting on Biden bandwagon that are Democrats, I'm like, look at his voting history. And then look at Bernie's voting history. And and you know, and then make a decision for yourself. You know, don't don't buy into this fucking Fox bullshit or the CNN bullshit that they're spewing, because they're run by big business. All they give a fuck about is selling airtime. They don't give a fuck who you vote for. They just want to get, the, you know, that's gang gang. That's all they give a fuck about. And that's why they, they pose the Republicans against the Democrats. And they want the American people fighting. Instead of we should be getting together and saying, hey, all this shit's broken. And it doesn't matter if it's Republican. And it don't matter if it's Democrat. It's broken. And it needs to be fixed. And, and big business doesn't give a shit. They'll be a Republican or a Democrat as long as they can get their policy in. And it's the big business that's the one that's hurting us. Wall Street is hurting us. You know, everybody's talking about how the economy's doing so well, where motherfuckers can't get a job for more than $12 an hour. We can't live on that. I'm talking about there's jobs everywhere where none of them pay. None of them pay a living wage. Nobody can buy it, you know. Maybe, maybe where you're at, but nobody over here can buy a house for that. You can't buy you can't buy a house for twenty dollars now. Not in Portland. Hell not. It, definitely not in Seattle. And don't even fucking go to California. Unless you make a hundred grand a year. You'll fucking be starving. 
That shit's wrong, man. That shit's that shit crazy. Is... Yeah. No, 100K in, Cal in like San Francisco or Los Angeles is poor. Ain't that shit crazy? Yeah. Yeah. There's people, there's, there's kids that graduate college and get themselves a $67,000 a year job. They're living in LA and they fucking got five roommates. Because their fucking college tuition is fucking three hundred thousand dollars and their fucking rent is fucking three thousand dollars a month and they fucking you know god forbid they try to get a car i mean it's dude people can't that's not that's no way to build an economy and to build the united states that's a way to if you're a boomer suck all the money out of everything and that they don't give a fuck the ones the, the ones that are supporting business big business they don't give a shit because they know they're gonna die soon and they just want as much money as possible so they can leave it to their family so their family's gonna be okay. That's what they give a fuck about. They don't give a fuck about people. They just care about their family. So I don't blame them, but you can't do it on the backs of other people. But they have the power to do it. And that's what they're doing. That's what's so fucked up. That's why, that's why I'm so anti-big business. And I've worked for corporations. I'm not coming from this uh, you know, fresh out of college. I've seen the evil. I've worked for the evil, and I've quit that shit for a reason. That shit is, you will erode your soul. Big business, terrible man. Big business, ruining America. That's why there ain't no small mom and pop stores no more. There's only fucking Walmart and Amazon, fucking Target. That's it. Them companies aren't good for us. Them companies are terrible. There should be there should be mom and pop stores on the street that, that care about people and, and price things fairly and, and hire. The fuck barter it, system, know? baby. The barter system. Yeah, if that's where we need to go to. I mean, fuck it. Let's nuke it all and start it again. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. We need to go to the barter well, system. It's, it's heading that way. We're heading for a Great Depression. It's gonna be, you know, it's gonna be the 30s, 20s the, instead of 1930s. The barter system, man, like. I got a dozen eggs, let me get a pound of meat. Yeah, that's how it should be. But no, it's all about Wall Street and getting somebody else rich. You go work for a big ass company, you're not you're not even working there is no owner. The the owner is Wall Street, is shareholders. You know, there might be a CEO or a president, but they don't own shit. They answer to the shareholders, and the shareholders don't give a fuck about the employees and they sure as hell don't care about their customers. All they care about is the bottom line. Damn, Spinner, you are stinking, bud. You are this bone? What the fuck, man? I gotta get some spray over here. Nah, that shit's broken, man. Makes me fucking sad. Makes me want to leave. Makes me want to leave this country. Who would have thought fucking Canada would look so good? It's fucking cold as hell up there, but it's fucking looks better every fucking year. Go up there with Jane and Fiber and them. <laughs> and it ain't perfect, and there's so many people that are up on Reddit and all that bullshit talking about, well, you gotta wait in line for healthcare. It's like, well, I'd rather wait in line for healthcare than just have my foot amputated because I couldn't fucking afford it. What the fuck, man? That's what happens in our fucking country. You ain't complaining about a fucking month wait to see the doctor because you're fucking bankrupt. You can't see no damn doctor. Yeah, 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 you can't buy a house because your fucking credit score is a shithole. <laughs> yeah, and then you go homeless. And then everybody bitches about how many homeless people there are. What the fuck? Why do you think they got all these homeless? Because the fucking policies don't, they don't care about anybody. You know, they just want the, they just want the shareholders to get richer because as long as the Dow Jones industrial average is looking good, the country's doing great. Well, that's bullshit. That's for the rich people in their 401ks. That ain't for you and I. That shit is fucked up. Yeah. That's why I, I just get so frustrated when they talk about how well the economy's doing. It's bullshit. Wall Street's doing well. That's like you live on a house. You know, you live on a, a street and everybody's broke and they can't fucking eat and they're just fucking struggling and then there's one big ass fucking house and that house got Ferraris. 
and then you know, and everybody look and say, well, that's that that's motherfucker's free. eating KFC buckets every day. <laughs> yeah, and everybody talking about, well, the fucking streets doing great. No, that one fucking house on the streets doing great. Everybody else is fucked. But everybody wants to talk about, oh shit, they got the emblem. They figured it out. Well, they got an emblem. Let's see it. Come on. Come on, Dado. All right, enough of that political bullshit. I'm done with my rant. But now, now it's Dado. Yeah. Okay. Oh, he's playing one of my favorite songs. What's that? You can't hear it, but it's called Take Five. Oh, it's gone now. But it's the Dave Brubeck from Christian. It's from the Well, 50s. you know what it is, so you can tell me later. Yeah, it's called Take Five. I'll play it for you. From the fifties. Oh, jazz. Really good shit. Really good. Oh, that's got to be the end. What the fuck is? Why is it blank? what it is they're gonna have to do a process of elimination when they get all of the rest of the puzzle pieces now they're really you done up. come on maybe that's what start no Shit's getting deep now.
shit's getting crazy, dude. They're fucking going nuts on the stream now. They got a whole different puzzle. Chat's not giving anything useful. Just hearts. Oh, Listen to it. Yeah. Icons. I got that shit turned off. Fucking <laughs> going crazy about this shit, man. Look at bro, man. He's there with his paper in his hand. <laughs> yeah, dude, this is a fucked up fucking bit. <laughs> he looks like he's in school. Like, what the fuck homework did you just give us? Yeah, fuck! <laughs> he was getting stressed out at like 10 o'clock this morning. <laughs> yelling at chat and shit. It was fucking funny. <laughs> he's like, you motherfucker. It was hilarious because <laughs> he's trying to figure it out. They thought they were going to get it early this morning. This shit's been going on. This is a fucking serious puzzle right here, boy. Bungie's last is laughing his fucking ass off. I think it's great. I'm glad it's fucking hard. Everybody can bitch him out. Bungie ain't got none of the old magic. This is some of that magic, man. This shit's fucking great. This shit reminds me of the fucking space herpes. <laughs> that shit was awesome. Nobody knew what the fuck was going on. The owl sector, bro. The owl sector. Yeah, that, that arg. Augmented reality. I mean, that's what this is. Looks like you're gonna have to run through all of them.
hot sauce on this burrito. Put some hot sauce on my burrito, baby! <laughs> yeah! Damn, I'm out of liquor. That made me want some more liquor. Was that a newest thing, or was that I don't know which, what they did? <clears throat> oh, snap. You must have to have more people in there. You hear what Gladys talking about? Uh-uh. I wasn't said the listening. Puzzle. Fire team. Yeah, the shit's going down right now. I'm watching it. They're walking on air. I'm gonna switch back to the fucking lab. Let's watch the data. I'm watching all four of them. Okay, glad it's not the puzzle. You know what, the one that they just put in there might not even be a puzzle piece that might have been the one just to get the emblem. That might be, they might be getting debated by it. Bungie.
There's one that's got fucking two hexes. Who has a panda? Glad. That's. this Pokemon, come on. Fuck. Get two of those. So you gotta win 12 times, if you go to Walmart and you buy a deck, and you put the code in, you gotta win 12 times to unlock the whole deck online. I did it. Two times. Hey. Both decks, both decks that I bought, I unlocked them. Oh, you did, you won 12 times? On both of them, so I won 24 times. Plus 7. 8, 9. Plus 9. Plus nine. It's thirty-three. Thirty. Cracking shit. Look, I even got a look. I got a pack. Here we go. I gotta open the shit. Spinner, what are you barking about, bud? What are you what? Hmm, that's a good card. What's going on, buddy? What are you barking about? Barking about.
You need to go back outside? Drink you some water. He ain't doing that. Alright, this is my last one.
Are you still there? Yeah. What are you doing? Playing the game. Oh. oh. Man, he's acting so weird, oh. That's another thing I didn't think about, man. The more I think about it, th th there's no way I'm gonna go with her down to fucking Detroit Lake. One, I wanna go to that meeting. Two, it's it might snow. I know she ain't got no traction tires, no fucking chains. I ain't gonna get stuck somewhere. Leave the dog here. I have to fucking stay in some hotel or something. Fuck that. Hell no, I ain't gonna get my self involved in that bullshit. You better watch. Um, I got a couple. Uh, one of them was from other books. Another was book. This what? Motherless Brooklyn, The Deadbeats, or um, I got Terminator Dark Fate. Either Terminator or Mother. Mm. I'll watch. Be a close one. I want to watch that one where they go up in the hot air balloon. Been advertising oh, on Amazon. Amazon. Have you, you watched that? that? Have you watched that yet? No. Dang, but I kind of like him, and I like her, so I might. It's interesting. So that's a base. Is that based on a true story? I don't Maybe know. There. Yeah. So they're trying to. Uh, that's the first uh, group of people that tried to figure out what causes the weather, and how to predict it. I believe. I think they did that for a scientific purposes, and then they got made an action with Yeah, topic. I was going to say, um, I think, you know, they did it for real purposes. Based off of a real story. Curious about the real story, but I like that. Like I said, I like that. I like both those actors. It'd probably be really good. Raids, raid secrets.
Somebody took. Vlad took a screenshot. He made it. Just why the fuck are you so bad? Oh, they found that emblem code by brute forcing it. What? They, they didn't find that 14th code. They brute forced it. Oh, no, there is an emblem code. Diamond Clover Snake plus Hex Hex plus Hex Diamond Clover Snake. Hex and Snake plus Hex plus. So they got code for it. It's crazy. Watching Jay and Silent Bob the reboot. I tell you that. Mm -mm. Yeah. Is it good? Yes. Not really. But it, you know, it was nostalgic. So like, if Jay, you're a fan of that, it'd be Jay and Silent Bob the reboot. Yep. Yeah. Just. Everybody's all old and shit. <laughs> I mean, those motherfuckers are my age. Actually, I think Kevin Smith's older than I am. They had Ben Affleck in that shit. I was laughing. Fucking, and uh, what's what's his buddy's name? Fucking Born Identity. Yeah. What the fuck is his name? Matt Damon. Matt Damon. Yeah, Matt Damon was in it. There's a lot of stars in it, actually. To be honest, Chong was in it, even. Where was that? Like, the reboot. Where was it? Yeah. Well, I mean, they started in Jersey and they ended up in Hollywood. Where, where did I find it? Yeah. On the interwebs? The old download. But I, I, I kind of want to watch the movie, but now, fuck, it seems like they're fucking close.
So I'm gonna do four. Uh, four. Oh shit, he's got symbols. So they did brute force that emblem code. Yes. Yeah. How the fuck did they figure that out? See the coffin in the middle? You look at Glad's screen. Look towards the top. Yeah. That's where the sword is. That's why that's why everybody thinks it's a sword, because if you jump up, you can see that sword. Spinner! <laughs> <laughs> 